The Views tab is a very important tab in the Mad Pony tool bag, as the Mad Pony tool bag makes extensive use of these features. A lot of the tool bag features will actually ask you for a view. For example, if I grid nudge something here, it will give me this message, no view selected please select a view first. You have six different views, top left, front, bottom right, back. As soon as you start, uh, select one view, a switch lights up next to that view, indicating that's the currently selected view. So if I go to my right, I get that. And I go to my left, I get that switch lighting up. Now this switch doesn't do anything, it just informs you that that's the current view. The zoom slider will try to zoom in to the currently selected focus. When there's no focus selected down here, it's, it tries to go to the currently selected subtool. So if I select this subtool here and I just move the zoom slider, it will go to that subtool. It doesn't focus it in the center, but it will try as best as it can to go to that subtool. If you want to have perfect focus on your subtool, you can select subtool focus. And now when I use my slider or press a view, it will focus on that subtool. Now I can't see my subtool here because it's on the other side. So if I press right, here's my subtool. So if I go to 100%, it's just gonna focus on that subtool by 100% and so on. Now you also have scene focus and scene focus will focus on the scene. So if I go to a front view, it will just focus on the center of the scene. And if I move my slider all the way up, 100% I'll just get all the subtools in the scene. So if for example I'll I'd move this subtool a bit over there, if I start doing this to my subtools, it will try to get all the subtools that are in the scene in the current view.